Jericho Dimon here, uh, popular guy again, this time from uh, Nikolaev. Air raid signs are on. See down the block, a lot of smoke. We just took pretty significant amount of artillery or rockets, I couldn't tell. This last one, the hit, hit about a block away. So I'm gonna head up there and check it out. Around uh, noon, maybe an hour ago, they started to bracket and, and walk it into the city center. And here they're, they're still getting after it pretty good out there. It's this one, hit a hotel. Luckily it looks to have been uh, abandoned. So probably no casualties, but uh, definitely no military significance. The Russians are definitely pouring more ordnance into Nikolaev as they continue their push towards Odessa. At this overlook, looking across the Dnipro River in central Kyiv, you can hear the sounds of battles in the distance. And meanwhile, you have families with small children walking by, people walking their dogs, people out for an evening run. And it just underscores the absolute surreal nature of life in Kyiv these days, as you have these signs of normal life slowly starting to return amid the, you know, the presence of war just a few miles outside the city center. And they have adapted to what is essentially a new wartime war. So right now, about 100 meters from my front is the final uh, Ukrainian position on the line. About 600 meters beyond that is when the, the fighting starts and things are contested. And then to my right right now, about a thousand meters, the Russian lines can hear incoming and outgoing uh, artillery and small arms. Dudes here are pretty vigilant, but they're, they're also super friendly. Really good spirits, well-equipped. 